Hello, Carl Jones here, starting another week of bite-sized bulletins from the world of cinema. And I should start today by saying, of course, Happy Halloween. Are you going out to be trick-or-treating tonight? Well, if you've got your old bowl of sweeties ready to greet the people at the front door, you might struggle to tear yourself away from a movie. But I thought it was only right to bring a bit of horror flavour to today's show. Big Centre's roving movie reporter Steve Green is the organiser, of course, of Birmingham Horror Group. And he travelled down to London to meet up with the man behind the UK's largest horror and sci-fi festival called Fright Fest. Here he is chatting with Alan Jones. Hi, Carl. I'm outside London's Bleeding Heart Tavern, a grisly venue but a suitable one to meet Alan Jones, movie critic, horror expert, and one of the organizers of the internationally famous Fright Fest Film Festival. Alan, you've just finished this year's Fright Fest. Obviously a very hectic period for yourself. What are your personal memories of uh, the 2016 edition? That we were in a really great venue. Um, the view Shepherd's Bush turned out to be quite um, um, Perhaps the best uh, decision we made this year, to be honest with you. Twelve cinemas, always packed, all on one level. We weren't climbing up and down stairs or escalators. People found it very easy access. Um, we put on over 70 films this year, and they were all hugely well attended. And every time uh, something uh, sold out, um, it would trigger an action where another screening would get started. Oh, yeah. So it actually worked very, very well. I mean, the, uh, the fans loved it. They thought it was absolutely great. Um, we were forced there because of the refurbing, you know, the refurbing of the uh, view. And as a result of it, I think, as is the case with most things that have happened in private. It's a happy accident. Yes, the accidents that happen have actually worked out for the best. Whether we're going to stay there or not, I'm not sure, because it's actually, um, it is outside of the West End. Uh, we are a West End attraction, so I, we are going to have to sort of like look at this very carefully. But overall, it was very good. It was very heavily attended. I mean, Train to Busan was probably... Um, everyone's favourite film, which we closed with. Um, every film had something going for it, and I was the, very pleased. The with film that, that I, I regret not being there to see personally was uh, The Love Witch. Oh, of right. course, Anna Biller came over to uh, present that herself. Yeah, she did. Um, Love Witch is great, actually. It's one of my absolute favourites. Well, favorites. that one we've both uh, spoken about. But did you have any idea when you started the uh, started organising the very first festival? that it would turn out like this? Not really. Um, we just sort of like did it as a, something for us to do. I've always said this as an, as an alternative to the carnival in London. I mean, I can't stand it. And I just wanted something to do. And I actually live in the center of the carnival. And so I wanted to get away for the weekend. And this seemed to be the ideal thing to do. And I'd always wondered why we'd never had London, I mean, had never had a, 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 a fancy film festival, the likes of Brussels or Sitges yeah. being Certainly not one with international standards. No, exactly. But you now more than achieved. Absolutely. And so when we started, no, but we attracted like-minded people. They've literally stuck with us. I mean, I can literally look at the audience and say that some people have been with us for the entire 16 years. And it's not, not no surprise to me that other festivals have sort of come along and tried to sort of like do as what we can, but um, we do it biggest and the best. Yes, that's uh, sort of the case, I would say. Back to you, Carl. Thanks very much to Steve and Chrissy Harper behind the camera for that one. Now tomorrow we'll be talking to Benedict Cumberbatch no less about his transformation into the new Marvel hero Doctor Strange. See you for that.